in other words, in the time it takes Earth to orbit the Sun, eight times, Venus completes almost exactly 13 revolutions around the Sun. So when the Earth goes eight times around the Sun, Venus has gone 13 times around the Sun. As a result, Venus and Earth line up in the same position with respect to the Sun. So transits show a clear pattern of recurrence of intervals at 8 and then 121.5 or 122 and then 8 and 105.5 years. Now here's the thing, from a scientific point of view, the transits of Venus are only possible during early December and early June. That's why you see these are all June and Decembers. That's the only time mathematically that this can happen. <clears throat> so here's what's amazing. I just kind of you can get this calendar for free. It's a download of you know when you can go back many years and see when they fell on the biblical calendar. And one of the things that I did was kind of fun just to look to see if there was any significance to any of these. Shavuot weekend on that set. Kislev 25, Hanukkah, in that set, Jerusalem Day this year. And in 2004, the Venus went this direction, like that. Or 2012, that's coming up. 2004, it transited the sun down here. And in 2012, it's going to come across the sun here. Now, the, the question is, okay, well, where are we going to be? Are we going to be able to see this? In 2004, the United States couldn't have seen it at all because it's all in the dark. There was, it wasn't visible. But it was visible entirely through Europe and Africa. So this kind of gives you an idea of where in 2004. Now, unless you were lived somewhere else than here, in 2004, we didn't see this. So that's why it's kind of not on our radar. It didn't affect us at all. And it only happened, doesn't happen again for another 100 years. You can see how this is a once in a lifetime event for anybody and everybody. Here it is for Venus, uh, I mean for 2012 coming up. We're going to get a great view, okay? But it's going to be at sunset. So at sunset next week, uh, you're going to be able to see the eclipse if you stay up. I think it's like almost at 10 o'clock at night or, you know, whatever sunset is. But anyway, if we have clear skies here in Washington, you'll be able to see it. And again, it will be able to be seen in, the, in Israel and the Middle East. So anyway, I just want to give you an idea of just when and where this is going to be seen. For this eclipse to take place, it takes six hours.